All righty. Today on an abbreviated show, we look at the state of affairs for our apostolate here at the Catholic Underground. We answer some back chat and we wish you well for the Christmas season. All this, the Catholic Underground starts now. Alrighty, it is in fact time for the Catholic Underground, your weekly Catholic guide to the digital continent. It's episode number 251. I'm Father Chris Decker. If you are listening live, you can join us at catholicunderground.tv and get your chat on. A special welcome to those of you who are watching us on television in the St. Paul, Minneapolis area, in the Diocese of Baton Rouge, or on our YouTube live channel on the CUTV live stream at catholicunderground.tv. Joining me this week, we've got Father Ryan Humphreys. He's the rector of the Minor Basilica of the Immaculate Conception in historic Natchitoches, Louisiana. Hello, Father. Hello, world. Still wearing your funny hat, I see. Funny hats, funny capes, all I can handle. That's right. We've also got Jeff Blackwell. He's the technical director of the Catholic Underground. He is the commandant of the Jeff Star One, and he is freshly back from his hiatus, uh, being a little a little under the weather. Um, hi, Jeff. Howdy, ho, 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 neighbor. Good oh, to be that's, here. I like that. That's clever. <laughs> and then, of course, Mary Kate Taylor. She is our video director there for the is. live stream, and uh, she uh, he she's just been she's been crushing it, uh, if I can say so, for the video stream. So uh, that's been a great addition to uh, to our CU family. Kathleen is visiting Grammy, so uh, we're uh, actually going to let her off, or she's she's got a pass today. We thought that what we would do at the be- the end of the year is to give you a kind of a sense of, of where we've been and where we're going. And in fact, I call it the State of the Apostolate Report. And uh, Father, we've never done this before in terms of a, of a podcast or a radio show, but um, I-, I wanted to give it a try because so many of you who listen, who maybe joined us for the first time, um, are, are actually maybe still asking a question. Now, what is Catholic Underground? What do they do and what have they done? And so, um, Father, I'm looking forward to, to being able to tell people where we've been. Well, it's a, it's a really fantastic story, and now that we're 250 episodes in, it feels like we're due. That's true, exactly. <laughs> it's time for a check-in. And so, uh, to, to start off, the state of our apostolate, my brothers and sisters, is good. And uh, with your help, we think that 2014 is going to be a whole lot better you know, we we told you in episode 244, I believe, about how we got the name, the Catholic Underground. But uh, I thought maybe it would be a, a good idea for some of you who might be joining us for the first time to have uh, what Father Ryan likes to call a little person's history of the CU. <laughs> you know, just a little a little recap. Um, we we actually started way back in 2006. Uh, we we began with a, a podcast that started as a conversation around a table outside a coffee shop. And Father, were you present for, I think you were present for that uh, that conversation. I was. We I was. all happened you, to be there at the same time. Yeah, it was It was a completely arbitrary moment. It was you and myself and Daniel Kettinger and Joshua LeBlanc. And we, you know, I, I wasn't particularly friends with everybody. I mean, I knew everybody, but mm-hmm. I wasn't, it wasn't a close conversation, uh, at least from my point of view. But it turned into a fascinating conversation about all manner of things, about yeah. technology. Of course, back then, the flip phone, was as cool as it got. The Motorola Razor was 500 American dollars. That's right. What you'd pay for an iPhone now, uh, that was the thing to have. It was thinner than the iPhone. It did lots less, but it was thinner. Yeah, and it was also more confusing and broke more often. (laughs) That's true. um, It did. It did do that. But it was a fascinating conversation just about, you know, how can we push the the bleeding edge of what this tech can do in evangelization? Of course, Pope uh, Pope Benedict was not even really on the scene. I mean, he had just brand new been elected, right. but uh, the new evangelization was still not really fleshed out. And so we were just saying words and kind of trying to figure out what they could possibly mean. That's right, because podcasting uh, wasn't really uh, in. It had just kind of started to to turn over. Um, a guy named Adam Curry started uh, his his kind of recorded audio that he was inviting people to subscribe to on their iPods. And uh, he's often referred to as one of the fathers of podcasting. And, uh, and we know that Leo Laporte from uh, This Week in Tech fame had just happened to have an MP3 player that he set in the middle of the table uh, as he and his friends were talking about technology and being let go from their job at Tech TV. And these were kind of the two trendsetters for us uh, for, for what would become podcasting. And uh, that conversation that started around a coffee shop table really became the impetus for what would become the Catholic underground. 
And so we actually started uh, in 2006. I had just been ordained a deacon. Father, you were ordained about a year already, uh, right. I believe. And, um, and so we started uh, doing what we're doing now, as a matter of fact. We started coming in together on Skype, I in my parish in Baton Rouge, and you in your parish in Alexandria, Louisiana. And uh, we, if you ever listened to episode one, it's definitely, it's something. Uh, we, we've come a, a long, long way f- since that. And the conversation has continued, and the beautiful thing about where our apostolate has gone is, is you've become a part of it. It started out with uh, just a bunch of guys talking, and slowly, 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 people started to catch on, and you began to use our back chat line, and you began to go to backchat at catholicunderground.com, and, and you began to get involved. And, and so from there, from 2006, we became a podcast. And, um, and I won't say that we've ever really been famous, but... Uh, but it's amazing the the base that has grown. So um, we actually started a webcast version of our show in 2010. Uh, this is something that I guess Father Ryan it, Father Ryan always questions it because it's it always kind of seems a little frivolous, you know, because the audio is is such an important thing. Um, but I've always been a fan of video, and I know that whenever I'm uh, listening to a podcast. If there's a video feed and I'm sitting at my computer or I'm somewhere where I can see the video, I'm going to want to see the video because I want to see all the things that are going around. I want to see the people that are talking. And, and Jeff, I know even though you're an audio guy, sometimes I catch you watching the oh, CU yeah. video. Absolutely. Uh, and and um, the nice thing to me about a video is is you can watch it even though the audio is not great. Yeah. And you can still understand it. And, That's true. Uh, whereas all you have with uh, audio is like if something's not right, then it's just yeah. uh, can be painful to listen to. But. Which is why bad audio makes for a bad podcast. And so in 2010, <laughs> one of the things that, that was happening is, is our video uh, was, was, was kind of trucking along okay. Uh, but our audio began to suffer because we had, at that time, no dispensation of Jack Blackwell. Oh, and, come on. And so, I'm serious. We, we, had, uh, we had a lot of equipment, um, but we had a bunch of hums and buzzes and things like that that we had no idea what they were. Because, um, uh, with the exception of maybe Father Ryan, none of us have ever really worked in audio before. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, Father, you actually you ran sound for uh, Steubenville South Conferences, I believe. Yeah, I ran sound and video for those conferences for a couple of years. Mm-hmm. And so that was uh, some of the only uh, the only real expertise we had, but uh, it was it was slim. And so um, we made the choice um, in in 2010, uh, right after we'd started our webcast, we we did the video stuff for a, a year or so, and uh, I think right up maybe to Catholicon in 2011. Mm-hmm. Um, right after that, we stopped doing our, our video uh, work. I think when we hit episode 200. Uh, so that might have been right as 2012 uh, worked its way around. And uh, one of the things that happened in, in 2012 as well is that uh, we came to Baton Rouge to Catholic Community Radio. And uh, we, we were very graciously granted um, some time, and we were granted uh, studio space. In fact, the, the area that we're here in is, is the main studio of Catholic Radio, so all their other shows take place here. And so uh, they're very kind to let us put up all of our equipment and all of our backdrops and things like this uh, so, that, so that we could actually bring you a program um, that, that had a little bit wider scope than, uh, than my rectory or even Father Ryan's rectory. And so that really was, was a great grace to, uh, to our apostolate, that, that it began to kind of expand beyond, uh, well, Father Ryan, for, for want of a better term, began to expand beyond our, our brain space. Yeah, it really did. I mean, the, the we we at, at several points we've had to stop and say, you know, what what are we doing again? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Because it's the very nature of any project where it it begins to become an organic thing, and so you know we started off as a conversation, and very quickly we realized, well, we we have to have some kind of rundown in the background. We have to have some kind of behind the scenes document that shares the links we're going to talk about and the ideas we're going to talk about. And we're now, I think, on version four or five of that document. Yeah. And it's, it's grown and developed. And sometimes our show has been very, very rigidly structured and, and time constrained. And other times it's been very, very free form. Um, and as we introduce video, of course, we had to take that to an entirely new level. Yeah. And that's just the nature of, of learning how to not just do evangelization, but how to do it well. That's right. And, and of course, that has been kind of the guiding principle. One of the reasons we pulled video is because we all came together and said, yeah, th- this, it's not working well. And so uh, part of the, the beauty of our apostolate, if I may say, 
is is uh, kind of the humility that it's taken to move forward. You know, you really do have to kind of step backward and and, and in in a in a sense kind of uh, look around at some of the, the the fallen things around you and say, okay, now how did that happen? Why did that happen? What weren't we paying attention to? And uh, and so that really has been a great grace this year. Um, we've added some new hands, feet, and faces to the Catholic Underground. Uh, Kathleen Lee, whom whom you know, um, she's become uh, a, a fast favorite on the show. Um, Mary Kate Taylor, thanks to her, we've been able to resume our video. Without Mary Kate, there's no video. Uh, she doesn't actually have a backup. So so I mean, if uh, if if there's no Mary Kate, there's no video. So so she's um, she is the unsung hero of us resuming video here for the Catholic Underground. Uh, Jeff Blackwell, as I said, is is our is our technical director. That's an official title uh, at the Catholic Underground, and uh, and you can already tell. Um, and, and Father Ryan, I bet you can speak to this a little bit. Our audio uh, situation has improved exponentially since Jeff stepped on board. Undoubtedly, mm-hmm. um, I know just the fact that Jeff will will sit there. You'll you'll ride the levels. Like I see your hands on the sliders. Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever something sounds a little too too high or too low, you're always there to to do that. Whenever I was running the audio board with my left hand and yeah. the video switcher with my right hand, I don't know how you did. Um, it. it it was really impossible, and of course the yeah. audio suffered. You know. Uh, and, and so to, to have Jeff along has really been a grace. And, and the thing about it is, folks, that I'm not sure if you realize, uh, these people, um, they donate their time. We, as, as an apostolate, uh, certainly don't have the money to pay them, um, but I don't think that we could pay them what they are worth. We, we actually, I was joking with Jeff before the show, he was talking about working at ESPN, and I said, you know, we've looked at your resume, Jeff, and we at the Catholic Underground think that you're overqualified for this job. <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the fact is you were expertly qualified for the job um but but you mary kate kathleen uh, mm. father ryan even we we donate our time yeah and and that um i don't even have words to describe uh how how that um that really edifies the work that we've been trying to do since 2006 i know father i never thought that we would get to that point ever or we'd never, have like real professionals working with us that yeah, exactly like real <laughs> professionals Real dedicated folks. Um, I, I never thought that that would happen, but that's kind of how the Holy Spirit works sometimes, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, I, the thing I never thought we'd have is actually good equipment. I mean, yeah. I, we, you know, when we first started, it was your laptop, and it was what is the cheapest, you know, uh, headset microphone <laughs> situation that we yeah. could get True. that didn't look like we bought it from Radio Shack. That's right. Uh, you know, even so, even though we probably did. <laughs> even though we did. But, so, I mean, so, I mean, I remember mine was $37, and I said, yeah. you know, this is... This is a massive investment of money for me. Um, and, and, you know, I never really expect us to have real equipment. And now we've got full-on pro-grade rack-mountable video equipment, mm-hmm. you know, and it's amazing. And, it's, and real cameras that are actually designed to do what we're using them for. <laughs> That's right. And it's it's not like a webcam that we've somehow managed to to pinch an, a video feed out of and shove into the side of something where it doesn't belong yeah that's that's kind of how we we spent our first few well 2006 i would say 2011 uh and and that that has really uh, allowed for a great uh improvement in our audio quality our video quality of course i have to mention another person uh matt beardsley who who has never spoken i don't think on on one of our podcasts mm-hmm. but whenever jeff is not in uh matt is more than willing to to sit in and uh, to donate his time um, to, to help us out. So uh, thank you to Matt, who's visiting his family the, this holiday season. So we, uh, we over the course of all this, as you, as you say, Father, we started with uh, maybe a $37 piece of equipment. But, but over the time uh, that we've been on the air, we've had to buy a few items to clean up the audio. I mean, we've got uh, a lot of little, uh, little boxes that, that uh, have uh, lights that blink in and out of sequence that, that clean up audio feeds, that digitize them. Uh, so that you can actually um, hear what we're saying. I mean, whenever we actually started uh, webcasting, I remember when we started doing our show live and we started actually webcasting the audio, uh, it, it wasn't uncommon for us to spend, Father, what, an hour before the show um, trying to make sure that the people in the chat room could actually hear the show? Oh, it was an absolute nightmare, even though we would physically not touch the setup week yeah. to week. I mean, no, no one would be allowed to get near it, and that was before you had a cat. And somehow or another, <laughs> the gnomes 
would mm-hmm. come in and we'd have to spend it the entire time resetting every detail of the show. I still don't understand why that was. Uh, me, me neither. Gremlins, and, yeah. It, the, yeah, the little gremlins. <laughs> yeah. And and so we would have a show start time at 7 p.m. But for those of you who've been following and, and uh, have been undergrounders since the beginning, we rarely started a show on time because of the gremlin issue. And, and so to be able to come in and sit down and in almost 90% of the cases to, to flip the switch and have everything work, uh, that has been a, a real, <laughs> a real gift to all of us, and and also you know just from a, a standpoint of of, uh, of honesty, Father, uh, a priest's time is very valuable, you know, and and so uh, to be able to sit down, do the podcast, and then go back to writing our homilies for the week, week, you know, that's a very important thing, and uh, and you, our listeners, have have helped to do that uh, because of all of the things that uh, that have improved in the audio quality. You've helped us to improve the video quality as well. Um, you've helped us to buy a streaming solution so that we can bring our live stream to you without any hiccups or stutters. That's something that you, our, our listener, you, our viewer, have, have done. Um, our video feed this year has been picked up by Catholic Television and Baton Rouge Diocese. Uh, and so I will edit our, our web version that goes out over YouTube and over Vimeo so that you can watch it on your mobile device. But I also edit a custom version for our Catholic uh, television station in Baton Rouge, and uh, we've also been renewed, which it's kind of weird to say that that our our uh, our show has been picked up again um, by the uh, St. Michael Broadcasting in the St. Paul Minneapolis area. So this wow. is, I think, this is the second year that we've been with them, and uh, and they've been so so good too because it's it's really kind of a silent partnership. The the show shows up every week or thereabouts on Vimeo, and they mm-hmm. run it. And if there's a problem, then then they'll they'll email us. But for the most part, we just assume that we're all on the air. And uh, we had been out of off of video for so long, um, a, a pretty good stretch there. Uh, after St. Paul uh, St. Michael Broadcasting said we want to pick up your show, I thought for sure, okay, well, they d- they just decided that we're you know we're untrustworthy yeah. or whatever. Well, sure enough, uh, we started video again, and, and they said, "Hey, we want to we want to pick your show up again." And so that wow. that has just been an amazing thing. So, because of you, our listeners, because of you, our viewers, we can simply just offer that to them. We can offer that for free. And so, if uh, if if what what you've been listening is something that you go, "Man, I sure I'm glad I can download that." Well, yeah, we we're able to give it away because of your generosity, because of uh, of what you've done. Um, this year, in fact, uh, just last week, we have hit over 555,000 downloads of our content. So that means since 2006, all of our podcasts strung together, all the different shows that were at one time on the Catholic Underground Network, uh, that's half a million, yeah. over half a million downloads. And, uh, and, that's, and that's been wow. y'all. You, you have, have, have listened, you have continued to listen, and you've continued to subscribe. Um, and uh, one of the things that, that really is kind of a hidden grace in all this, Father, is do you know that we've been live nearly every week this year? It has. It's been, it's been an incredibly good year for us. Yeah, and, and I think um, one of the, the big deals for me, as I say, the, 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 the podcast was in my rectory, and we had kind of a set time, more or less, that we would come together and, and broadcast and um, just realistically, because of our schedules, it wasn't uncommon for something to kind of bump in the way of that. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and so there was a little nudge in the Holy Spirit that said, uh, <clears throat> Christopher, because that's what the Holy Spirit calls me. Uh-huh. calls me, you know, my baptismal name. <laughs> Christopher, you need to uh, move this out of your, your rectory. You need, to, you need to give it away. Wow. That's, that was what was clear in prayer. And I said, but I don't want to give it away because... If I give it away, then that means all the creative stuff that I like to do, uh, the, the, the fooling with audio, the video switching, all that stuff, I, I can't do anymore. And the Holy Spirit says, if you don't give it away, it's going to die. So the choice is really being made for you. Either you kill it or, or let it live. And, uh, and sure enough, that's, uh, that's what happened. And, um, and we've been live almost every week because we, we, pretty, we have to show up. Uh, and then, of course, we started to see you later which is the podcast extension of our show. Um, that's, this, this is one of those little laboratory kind of things, Father, that is going to take a little more innovation and fleshing out, maybe. Yeah, we have a lot more talking to do because I mean, we're, we're at that point where the show has grown to a level of excellence, and we have to say, well, what is, 
what is the next step to really focus our attentions on? Right. Because we can we can invest a lot of money in this. We can invest a lot of money in that. We can invest a lot of time in this. Or we can ask the Holy Spirit, you know, which which volunteers, you know, are you going to send us next? Right. And, you know, and, and all of those things go into how are we going to, you know, what's our next step going to be? That's correct. And and so, of course, because we are an apostle and not a, a big business, uh, you know, working at the, on the bottom line, um, even though even though that's pretty much where we hover, <laughs> is, is right somewhere near the baseline. <laughs> yeah. um, we, we do continue to ask, what is God saying to us in the midst of all of this? We, we really, um, I wish I could say, Father, that we started doing that from the very beginning. I think we kind of launched by the seat of our pants and then picked up the idea, oh, prayer is important. <laughs> um, but, but the Lord has been speaking in the midst of all this, and, and, and loudly, consistently, God has allowed us to see that you are listening. Um, you are are listening to us. You are you are interested in what we have to say, and and Father, sometimes that makes me a little nervous. That it, it makes me very nervous, you know, because there there are a lot of times when I have a lot of stuff going on in my life. I'm I'm very busy. I've got you know as, as a pastor of a very large parish, and you know it's just it'd be so much easier if God said just keep doing exactly what you're doing with Catholic Underground, mm-hmm. um, and don't change anything. Right. You know, that would be just wonderful because I can do what we're doing. Right. Uh, but if the Lord says, I've got another big plan for you, I may just have to have a nervous breakdown. That's right. Kind of like <laughs> Catholicon, which, which I mean, that was in 2011 and it came out of left field and, and, and there it was and it was staring us in the face. And we almost all did have collective nervous breakdowns, although that has turned out to be such a great grace because we've developed some relationships and the people that came to Catholicon actually develop some important relationships that they have today and began some of the things that are that are beginning to tentacle out into other apostolates. That's neat. I'm, I'm amazed at that. How, how well, One of the things you did leave out, though, was heat stroke. That, uh, oh. Houston had, what, what was it? It was like over 20 <laughs> or 30 days of, of yeah. temperatures over 100 degrees. And, and that's when it. we were there. <laughs> yeah, and that's when it. Jeff was loading and unloading all of his equipment. Uh, and none of it weighed less than 60 pounds. Of course not. So, yeah. so yes, so that's, the... that's that. Um, the, the Lord has actually brought many of you to us who are rediscovering your, the, your Catholic faith. Uh, and, and usually, as Father Ryan says, whenever we're kind of in that place where we're busy and we want to just say, okay, we're done, uh, that's when you send us an email. And uh, so that asks a great deal of commitment from us. And specifically in my own prayer, um, I know that God's asked a great deal of commitment to the apostolate for me. Um, to, in fact, I've had to order and reorder my life so that we can bring this content with a great deal of quality to you. And, um, and I know Father Ryan and all the other folks that are involved uh, are doing the same thing as well. I had to kind of order and reorder their lives. But Father Ryan can tell you how difficult it is for me to order and reorder my life. <laughs> Yeah, ordering anything is fairly complicated. Very for you. true. For example, unless it's the, chicken shawarma. That's right. Unless it's chicken shawarma, <laughs> which comes pre-ordered. They know me now. I just, you know, I can order that. Uh, and so, uh, what's coming up in 2014? Well, we'd like to push uh, Catholic Underground Television a little bit farther. We'd like to produce some exclusive content for Catholic Underground Television. Um, we'd like to put CU TV on YouTube as the first 24-hour Catholic network on YouTube Live. Wow. And uh, there are a lot of faiths that are putting their content on the digital air. In fact, there are a lot of YouTube live channels that are religious in nature. There are some Coptic Catholics that are doing it. Mm-hmm. But, but there's no Roman Catholic presence on YouTube Live. Wow. And uh, we have the possibility to, to, to be in that space. Um, we're also very excited to say that we're beginning to uh, begin a massive expansion. Are you ready for this? Into our own studios at uh, the up-and-coming... Uh, conjecturally named Maximilian Kolbe Communication Center. That's owned and operated by our media partners at Catholic Community Radio. Um, they're going to be moving into a new studio space, and they've graciously given us a big chunk of that so that we'll have a video studio to begin to bring uh, this program to you. So it's going to be awesome. You're going to get more information about it as the new year dawns. This could open up some interesting opportunities for interns, for college and high schoolers in the area to get involved. It could spawn a few new shows in video and audio, and uh, we'll have production facilities to boot so you can shoot and edit and distribute content uh, all from uh, all from this new space. So nice. that's going to be really, really exciting. And, of course, um, we're, we're trying to maybe re-inject some, uh, some, some fuel into the Catholic New Media Institute, uh, a way for you to, kind of like we were talking about with Jeff uh, before the show, maybe do some basic training 
um, if you are being called to do like we did in 2006 and step out in faith. Mm -hmm. And uh, and what a great grace that could be. So a quick word about advertising and underwriting. At present, um, we we don't have anybody that underwrites our show except for you. Um, At present, we've got 161 donors in our donor database. In any one week, around 2,000 folks download our CU Weekly program. So imagine if each one of you were to give us a dollar a month for the four weeks of programming that you get from us. Over the course of a year, if each one of you listeners, not just 161 of you, but all 2,000 of you gave us a dollar, that would be $24,000 that we would be able to use to expand our offerings to you. Father Ryan and I, Jeff, Mary Kate, Kathleen, Matt, none of them take a pay a pay check from this. Right. Uh, everything goes right back into the apostolate. So we're not shooting for the entire fortunes of Ferenginar here. <laughs> but uh, but this is this is something reasonable, and so give that some thought uh, as we come into 2014. And of course, there's information waiting for you at CatholicUnderground.com slash donate. Twenty five cents a that. week. Twenty five cents a week. Yeah. You know that's that's a that's a doable thing. Uh, and so we just want to offer that to you because 2014 is going to be great. But uh, but man, we we want to be able to do so much for you. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of a time for for back chat if that's okay. <laughs> Underground.com. Because this is exactly what we're talking about in our State of the Apostolate Report. Uh, Anthony from the perimeter of the Argolis Cluster writes this. Hey guys, I'm sure you're far too busy to read this, but I really wanted to say thank you for turning me on to Michael D. O'Brien. I'd been looking for a good Catholic novel for some time. I just finished his new book, Voyage to Alpha Centauri. It was amazing. I just started Father Elijah. Thanks again, a very loyal fan. In, in the back chat, he calls himself a Catholic revert. Welcome back, Anthony, and we're happy to suggest an author who brought us back into the world of good Catholic fiction. And it's people like you, Anthony, that, that keep us on the air um, with your prayers and, and just by sending us email, it's so important that you back chat to us and let us know what we're doing. Because, uh, because if, if you don't, maybe we go, well, uh, there's no interest anymore. But folks like Anthony um, have, have made it very clear that what we're doing is important. And so uh, I say again, the state of the apostolate is very, very good. And 2014 seems like it's going to be a, a lot better uh, year and, and just an amazing year. Father, I'm excited. As you should be. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> you can always count on Father Ryan for those, you know, those little pep talks. At I the love end. that. Yeah. By the way, how, how can people contribute, those who are interested? Yes, indeed. Well, the way to do it is to go to catholicunderground.com, mm-hmm. and you can click the Donate button, or if you just go straight to .com slash donate, and you'll have these little Donate buttons that you can click, and that goes straight to PayPal, and it's usually it's through PayPal that, mm-hmm. uh, that the no- donations come to us. And so you can use your credit card or however you want to do that. Um, and then, of course, um, we, we, you get into our donor database that way. And so we can actually send you information so that you can uh, have that on your tax forms and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we, we're 501c3, which means that everything that you donate to us is, is completely tax deductible. And, and so that's the way that you can do it. Uh, portions of the Catholic Underground are brought to you by audibletrial.com slash Catholic Underground. That's audibletrial.com slash Catholic Underground. That means that whenever you uh, sign up for that, um, they help us out a little bit. They give us a little bit to keep us going. And so uh, if you want the show notes that accompany this episode, if you uh, want to, to get information about the podcast, you want to find out more about our apostolate, as Jeff is always fond of saying, catholicunderground.com is the place to go for that if you want to watch the reruns of, uh, of the previous shows, you can go to catholicunderground.tv. That's where our live shows exist, like the one that you might be watching now. But that's also um, where uh, you can chat with us whenever we have a live show. And I know that uh, has become a very popular thing as well. And uh, if you want to find out the ways to connect with us on Twitter or Facebook, the best way to do it is head over to our website as well, or just facebook.com slash catholicunderground. All right. Well, this has been our State of the Podcast episode. We're going to take next week off, so you'll hear an encore episode. For those of you who are listening to us live on the radio, we invite you to stay tuned for our special Lessons and Carols. We think that you'll enjoy it. It'll be an important way for you to, uh, to mark this Christmas season. Father Ryan's church is online at minorbasilica.org. He's at FR Humphreys on Twitter. Thank you, Father Ryan. Merry Christmas to you all. Jeff Blackwell is the tech director for the CU. He's at Jeff Blackwellis on Twitter. Thank you, Jeff. It's a pleasure, Father. 
And uh, Mary Kate Taylor is an evangelist, and in her spare time, she uh, eats at truck stops. I'm Father Chris Decker. You know me, Digital Catholic on Twitter. Join us on the interwebs always for CatholicUnderground.tv. From the Catholic Underground.